Hey guys, Adam here with americantrucks.com. Today we're taking a closer look at and installing the Addictive Desert Designs Stealth Fighter front bumper. This is available for all 2013 to 2018 Ram 1500s, excluding the Rebel model. It might be in the market for something that beefs up the intimidation factor of the front end of your truck. And if that's what you're looking for, look no further because ADD's Stealth Fighter does the job. This is a perfect option for the guys out there doing the occasional off-roading or might just want that off-road rugged appearance on the front end. It's extremely protective with a hardcore steel construction guaranteed to not dent, crack, flake, or anything like that. It takes the hit for you. It is, in fact, impact resistant. Now, it's got that black textured powder coated finish, but it's not your typical black textured finish. It's got a very slight texture to it, more like a black stipple finish, like a factory OEM splitter or something like that. Uh, the texture finish here is going to be pretty durable. It looks really stealthy, just like the name suggests. And I'm really digging this as one of the best ones in the category. Now, because of that, it does come with a more premium price tag, right around $1,500. It is one of the more expensive front bumpers on the market, but ADD guarantees quality. And it's got one of those really hug-tight finishes here. Not many bumpers in the category can boast a really tight OEM-like finish. Now, this is really snug to your headlights. It covers up that bottom lip of your front grille. It really does look like it belongs on the front end of your truck. Now, I'm gonna take a closer look at this side-by-side -side with the factory bumper, but I do wanna point out a couple of advantages with the Stealth Fighter. For one, you can mount up to a 40-inch LED aftermarket light bar in this open pre-cut slot. If you didn't wanna go with a light bar, you can fit up to 10 cube lights depending on the size of your aftermarket choice. It's also got pre-cut slots all along this. I wanna say up to about 20 pre-cut slots for lighting mounts. You don't have to do any drilling or cutting if you picked up aftermarket lighting. It'll automatically be built right into the bumper. Also included in the kit to help with additional lighting is brackets. There's about 16 tiny brackets that you can use to mount additional lighting and do a bunch of different sorts of things that are all up to your personal preference. So if you need some lighting mounting opportunities, there's a ton of it in the bumper and brackets that come with the kit that can help you in the future. You also have shackles here for recovery points if you wanted to add some D-rings. You also have those cut out. There's an aluminum plating here with the ADD name. And of course, you can see the really high approach angle and ground clearance advantages. If you were going off-road and you're tackling some obstacles on the trail, this is a really good choice because you can get over them so much easier. You wouldn't be able to do that with your factory bumper. You'd have to pretty much avoid those obstacles because it doesn't have very much ground clearance. And one more disclaimer before we shoot into the install, these well liners that you see back here, it does tell you you have to cut those if you don't want them in there, or you can just completely remove them if you're okay not having a well liner at all. We chose to go the route of not doing either of those simply because we are gonna put our Ram back to stock. We didn't wanna alter our well liner or remove them completely, but I did wanna point out those are up to you and your personal preference. Now, as far as that install goes, you can expect one out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter. It's literally held on with four bolts. Those bolts are high quality hardware. They're not gonna break if you hit something like a tree or a rock, but I will say that the install is very, very simple. It'll take you about an hour. Now, I will recommend having a helping hand on deck because this thing is a little bit heavy, so that goes a long way. It's gonna be tough, almost impossible to mount this thing by yourself, holding it up and wrenching from one end. Now, before you tighten down all the bolts, I will give you a disclaimer here. You wanna make sure you have them snug, but not too tight. Leave a little room for adjustment because you might need to make some adjustments going left to right or in and out, up and down, just to make sure it's aligned the way you want it. Without further ado, I wanna show you guys how it gets done, so let's get to it. Tools used for this install will be a cordless impact, panel removal tool, 3 8 and quarter inch ratchet, 10 millimeter short socket, 8 millimeter deep socket, 15 millimeter deep socket, 18 millimeter deep socket, and a hammer. To kick off the uninstall of our factory front bumper here, we do have to do a couple of things before we can get there. We are gonna have to remove our factory upper grille and our factory headlights to gain access to a couple of bolts holding on our bumper. Now before we can get there, I'm gonna remove our factory radiator shroud here using our panel removal tool. With our hood open here, we'll pop open a couple of these plastic push pin clips and then we'll move on to the bolts underneath them. So if you don't have this, you can pick it up at your local auto parts store. It's an extremely easy and useful tool to have around the house. If you don't have one of these and you don't wanna pick one up, a flathead screwdriver could definitely do the trick as well. This just makes life a little bit easier. Now that we have all six of those plastic clips out of place, we can just pull our radiator shroud out and set it aside. 
All right, next step here is to take your 10 millimeter socket and remove the four bolts holding on your factory upper grill here underneath that radiator shroud we just removed. So I'm gonna use my cordless impact. A simple ratchet would do the trick as well. All right, now we can remove that upper grill here. What we're gonna do is pull back on the top here. That'll come loose. And there's just a couple of push clips that are holding on the bottom one. So if you put a little bit of pressure from the bottom here, you can pull that out of position and set the whole thing aside. So the next step here is to actually remove our factory headlights. Now when we do this, you wanna make sure after you unbolt it, you're disconnecting the headlight harness so you don't yank that out of the vehicle when you remove the headlights. So before we can do that, what we're gonna do is take our 10 millimeter socket. I'm using a swivel socket just because this is at an awkward angle. If you have a universal socket, a universal swivel socket that is, that would make life easier as well. So I'm gonna use my 10 mil here, remove these two bolts. Then we're gonna go up under the wheel well and release one of the retaining tabs and we'll be able to pop the headlight out. All right, with those two bolts out, we can actually just pull straight back and release it ourselves. But if it's giving you some trouble, you can reach your hand in the wheel well and give it a push from the back. It'll pull right out. All right, we're gonna release these clips here. So this is one of your headlight bulbs. This one, we can pull back on the red locking tab. Pinch and disconnect. Remove that Christmas tree clip and set your headlight aside. Now do the same thing for the opposite side. All right guys, now that we're underneath the truck, we'll be able to tackle the six nuts that we have to remove from our frame. Now the bumper is being held on by one here, one next to it, and then there's one directly above this one. Those three are on each side of the truck. So right now we're on the passenger side, so it's one, two, and on the upper right. On the driver, it'll be one, two, and on the upper left. So I have my 18 millimeter deep socket here. I'm also using a universal swivel joint, an extension, and my cordless impact. And then I'll have to switch over to a ratchet for the last one up there. There isn't a ton of room back here, guys, so the swivel socket really comes in handy. I'm gonna slide the deep 18 mil over top. Spin that right off. All right, so we were actually able to use my cordless impact for this last one. Now you wanna make sure that you're leaving that last one on simply because you don't want the bumper to dislodge while you're underneath it. So now that we have the bolts underneath of the bumper taken care of, there are a couple more located on the inside of the wheel well and behind the headlight. Now that our headlight is out of place, we'll be able to access back here. Now the bolt that's holding the bumper to the fender is actually facing the back of the truck. So the stud is on the front end of the truck where the bolt head is at the top. So we're gonna to have to take our ratchet for this one and our 10 millimeter socket, go inside and attack it from the back. So it's gonna be a little bit of an awkward angle and it's tough to see, but you'll be able to feel for that 10 millimeter bolt head and ratchet that thing out of there. Now there is a little compartment, like I said earlier, attacking the headlight where you can reach in from the wheel well once you remove that pushpin clip you'll be given a little bit of a slot to get back there. All right, now we're on the passenger side doing the same thing with our 10 millimeter socket. All right, now we're in the wheel well. We've got our push pin clips removed from here, holding it onto the well liner. Now we have one more eight millimeter bolt here. I'm gonna use my quarter inch ratchet and get this one taken off. Right. You don't have to worry about this top one. As you can see, this is for the bumper. This one on top is for the fender. We can leave that one as is. Just one bolt here and there's two push pin clips. Now we can do the same thing on the other side. All right, back here on the other side, I got my socket. We're gonna remove this bolt here. And then these two are the plastic trim. Now ours is a little weathered. It's seen, seen some miles, so these are popping off a little bit. So those are taken care of. We're just gonna get this bolt out. All of our bolts are taken care of. We got our grill out, our headlights are out, the bolts underneath the headlights, wheel well, everything's taken care of. At this point, it's just being held on by a couple of clips here underneath, and then again, a couple of clips on each side. So we're just gonna pull straight back with a little bit of force, not too much, you don't wanna break any clip tabs or anything like that. So we'll just pop it out of place, disconnect our fog light harnesses, and then we'll be able to set it aside. All right, from here, we have a little bit of space to reach our hand in and disconnect our fog light wires. Now, as you can see, those fog lights, we can pull straight up here. We're gonna pinch.
So we finally got our factory bumper off our 2014 Ram and sitting on our bumper rack right underneath of our Addictive Desert Designs Stealth Fighter front bumper. As you can see, in every way, shape, and form, the Stealth Fighter bumper from ADD is completely different from the factory option. And honestly, it's really different than some of the other options in the category. Now this bumper here up top is a fully welded steel bumper, great for protection and great for hardcore looks. It's got this stealthy feel to it, but it still lets you know it's ready for action on the trails, so it's a really, really rugged off-road option. Now the good thing about this one here is that it also comes with mounting capabilities for a lot of lighting. What you see here is an open slot pre-cut from ADD to accommodate up to a 40-inch LED light bar or 10 cube lights. Now, as you can see in the back here, there are pre-cut slots, I'd say, I don't know, about 20 of them, available to accommodate any of that lighting solution that you want to go with. You don't have to make any modifications to the bumper to mount them. If you have the brackets already with the lights that you pick up separately, you can mount them in those pre-cut slots. It's also got CNC cut aluminum paneling, as you can see right in the middle, you got the ADD logo. Now your factory bumper, again, is really susceptible to damage. It's not something you wanna go off-roading with. It doesn't have really good ground clearance. So if you're looking for a better ground clearance, better high approach angles on the corners like this one, this is gonna be a really good upgrade. Now, if you're really doing some extreme off-roading, there are some other bumpers out there that offer bull bar support on the top there, something that offers a skid plate for the lower portion. This one's really good for the guys doing some light off-roading who might be coming in contact with trail obstacles or uh, really just want that rugged off-road look. Now, without further ado, guys, I want to show you how it gets installed, so let's get to it. All right, guys, now before we can actually mount our bumper on our 2014 Ram, we're going to have to install our threaded retainer clips. Now, there's four of these, two for each side, each of these plates. So what you're going to do, you're going to take your threaded side, make sure it's facing in, where your bolt's going to go is facing outward. Now, you see this open slot here? That retainer pin is going to go around it so that your threading is going to be in this hole. Now, these are pretty tight, so getting these in might be a little bit difficult. You can use a hammer or a flathead screwdriver to open these up a little bit more, which we're probably going to have to do here. As you can see, it's, it's got a little bit of a struggle. So we're gonna open this up a little bit, pop those on. Another one is gonna go down here and straight across. So like that's a little bit easier. This is just working on weird angle. We'll do the same thing for the opposite side. Take your hammer and hit it on the back here just to push it through. All right, now we can mount this on our frame. Now that we have our bolts in place, we can take our 15 millimeter deep socket and tighten these down. All right, so now that we have our Stealth Fighter bumper in place, we've got our headlights back on, we've got all of our bumper support brackets from our factory bumper off, we're ready to put our front grill back on and our top radiator shroud to cap things off. Well, that's gonna wrap up my review and install of the Addictive Desert Design Stealth Fighter front bumper. You can get yours right here at americantrucks.com.